Emotion is actually the enemy of effective negotiation. It clouds judgment, it causes loss of focus on goals, and it physiologically reduces listening. So I want to get the emotional content out of negotiations. The fact, sadly, is, however, that studies show that the more important the negotiation to the parties is, the more emotional they get, whether it's world peace, a billion dollar deal, or my kid wants an ice cream for that. Since any negotiation worth doing is high stakes to the parties, every single negotiation in the world begins as an emotional negotiation. Even if we say, let's compare our spreadsheets, each person is thinking to themselves, my spreadsheet's better. So you've got to think about what emotional payments can I give them? Because emotional payments calm people down and let you get to the meat of the negotiations. How are you feeling today? What work have you done? Uh, tell me what you're thinking about, all those kinds of things. And so, so, and I want to be empathetic about it, but dispassionate myself. So if I am, just, if I am emotional, I'm no good to myself. If they're emotional, I can give them an emotional pain. I actually want negotiations that are calm and even, even and sensible, but you have to get there because you start emotionally, no matter what it is. There are people that seem calm outside, they're seething inside. So you can't actually tell whether they're emotional by their manner, uh, which you can tell they're emotional if they act against their interests. What we're talking about here is a tone change. A tone change for emphasis is totally legitimate. You're nice and calm. Once in a while, you raise your voice. You're, uh, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're excitable. You're calm. People get the idea that this is particularly important to you. The problem with using it is the more you use it, the less effective it is. You do it once every six months, you're effective. You do it once a month, you're not enough to scream her. So you, it has to be measured. You have to figure out what your spots are that you have to do it. And yes, it's hard to control your emotions, but I tend to lower my expectations about how people are going to treat me. That way I'm never disappointed, and I'm often pleasantly surprised. So I try to calm myself down, take a break if I can, or I might be the wrong negotiator. All of us get emotional. All of us feel emotion. It's a constant battle.